I'm just gonna make this video uh, just because I haven't really made a video. I have to kind of make it uh, just because of the relevance of the actual things that are actually have been happening uh, and how relevant this actually is to every Christian uh, in the body of Christ and just things of that nature. Uh, so basically, it's just gonna be overall the premise is binding and loosing, right? But uh, it's just gonna be about uh, witchcraft and witches in itself. As well as just general deliverance from the actual tactics and deceptions of, of the devil uh, himself as well. Uh, as everybody already has common knowledge and awareness that the reason why they're not obviously able to get delivered uh, is because uh, they're being deceived. So if you use this, uh, that you know, obviously, that they already have the foreknowledge that they're going into it to try to deceive you from being able to, um, like to stop or haul your deliverance. Uh, this should just be pretty easy and self explanatory to use that, uh, in itself to just deliver yourself because the overall premise is just nothing but lies. Uh, so uh, that was in short what was actually what I was actually trying to say and what I was actually trying to uh, mention as it well as I made a post about it uh, where I was saying that these um, these witches and these uh, devils themselves uh, go into it uh, not really uh, believing the lies that they're actually telling you so obviously because of that we're going to use that uh, to deliver ourselves from everything and anything that uh, has to deal with the deceptions and the lies of the devil as anything that is contrary to your heavenly image uh, down here on earth uh, as it would be in heaven obviously that's a flat out lie in itself everybody already has the common knowledge and uh, an understanding that obviously is going to take uh, some, um, some faith on your end uh, and that is not at all going to be um, you know it's just some things are obviously going to take faith just like how it's written in the scriptures with uh, when God withered uh, the king's hand for uh, doing something that he shouldn't have done, uh, obviously he he restored it, and then he uh, what is it called? Uh, he first withered it, and then he restored it. So obviously this is the type of faith that you're going to need uh, for you to actually be able to restore yourselves and back to your former, uh, and actually be restored to how you actually used to be. That we can actually be restored to how you actually used to be. Uh, before, so obviously this is going to take faith uh, on your end uh, to just be able to be delivered from the lies uh, of the devil. Uh, but at, but at, at face value, it should be pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to be able to recognize and to actually see that uh, you're obviously going to have to have. Um, you're going to you're gonna have to make the efforts. Uh, make them consistent and just actually be diligent in these efforts as well just because uh, if you actually really want something you're gonna have to actually try Christ himself has already known uh, what it took for uh, certain uh, certain well you could just think of certain situations where it demanded a lot from you and obviously because of that uh, these things in themselves and everything that I've mentioned in my post is obviously not going to be any different. So if these things actually demanded a lot from you, uh, then obviously Christ himself knows that you know this knowledge. Uh, and he wants you to actually um, recognize it and actually apply it uh, to something that is more uh, beneficial to your actual soul uh, than anything else. Uh, just because... Um, And just because you need to, uh, and just it's unnecessary. Christ is gonna rebuke you if you don't actually uh, get in that knowledge and in that way of thinking. You don't really have a choice. So now I made a lot of posts. All as these curses are kept that are kept unbroken are causing the promises of God to be null and void to them. The curse of Leviathan will blind your eyes and keep Christ resisting you, so they are preaching these messages to people who have not broken their curses up, which are just time-wasting. When they should be preaching, I should be preached messages of spiritual warfare and hindering the enemy. How to bind and loose and break curses to be able to receive the fullness of God's promises. 
being prepared for the fires and tests Christ sends, uh, and this only being the formative period for heaven and their character and preaching and being able to receive messages of repentance. Just because some individuals are not really able to receive all messages of repentance is because they have Leviathan is blinding their eyes. They don't really feel like they have uh, any need to change just because everything is fine and dandy. But God has been rebuking these people all their lives uh, for the same consistent sins uh, that they obviously uh, do on a daily basis and on a regular. So this message in itself, or this post in itself, was just meant uh, for all the TikTokers and just to actually expose that type of stuff. Uh, just like you could actually recognize and see that some of these people are actually Satanists. Uh, as well as some of these individuals uh, in uh, who are actually preaching these messages, are obviously preaching these messages about promises of God, uh, but they're cursing you using the real guns that you obviously have, uh, making these promises null and void. Uh, so the whole premise on why I even said it is to break these curses, to just completely waste their time, uh, and, and to nullify their work and their evil work, uh, and to just actually ensure that it's like, thank you very much for actually preaching this message to me. I've already broken all the curses, so all of these promises are applicable to me now. Uh, and this is the whole premise on why they even preach some of these messages. They shouldn't be preaching these messages whatsoever just because uh, you're going into the church, you're hearing these messages of, of faith, and uh, you, you know, you're receiving these messages, but obviously some of you individuals are receiving counterfeits of it, and you're getting cursed uh, more and more. And so that's essentially what actually ends up happening to you. So uh, this is also in short is the real reason why uh, you're not actually able to receive some of the promises, even though you actually believe, just like how I, I was mentioning earlier with deliverance in itself. So just because that's fresh in your mind, obviously that's something you should be applying it to. That the real reason why you're not actually able to receive these deliverances themselves is just because you haven't broken the curses and God is actually resisting you. Uh, because God does not change uh, whatsoever, not today, not tomorrow, or the day after. So obviously his judgments are going to stand uh, for your sins, even if you don't feel like you did anything wrong. Uh, obviously God's ways are a lot higher than your ways. And, uh, and he obviously knows what he's doing. So um, God will not fail you, but the legal grounds and curses are the reasons why. As well as loosening the graces of head of time for the plans the enemy has planned for you. Uh, you break the curses up by using the power of the cross in faith. So every single TikTok and the promises he speak of are not applicable to you because you have not broken a single curse up. And the devil knows he has grounds to stay and the promises of God will never apply to you because of these curses. So I pray every curse is broken in your life to make the promises actually be applicable to your life. But you will still have to take an active role in action and binding and loosing. This is also something else that you're going to have to do. Not because you've actually broken all of these curses, now you have to actually get rid of them. Because now they actually have the grounds uh, to actually be able to leave. Before they weren't actually able to leave, you were going through suffrage and you weren't really understanding why. Well, and that's essentially uh, it. But now, obviously, you're going to have to cast them out, every single one of these curses <laughs> out. Uh, as well as the actual chief princes themselves that were inside of your vessel and inside of your temple. As this is uh, the main reason. The, well, the main person in command of all the other little demons that are inside of your life. So, uh, obviously, this is going to take, it's not going to be one of those quick fixes where you're just like, well, this is just going to, uh, I'm just going to get rid of it. Although, breaking the curses are relatively easy. Uh, you still have to do all the work to get every single one of these legions out. So, uh, pray, uh, seek Christ, and ask Christ uh, to ensure that you obviously have gotten rid of all these curses and that you're not uh, going on about your day thinking that you uh, really did damage to the enemy uh, and then going straight into torment. So obviously you're going to have to take some time out of your day. You're not going to, you're not at all going to be, um, you're not at all going to be the type of person that is, is just uh, careless about it uh, and have a, a, um, a careless attitude uh, about your actual salvation, what's at stake and what you could obviously be losing. So now they have no grounds to stay, so they can all leave from your mind, your heart, your soul, your will, and emotions, but it will still be on you and your habits of where you are being negligent and your own definitions of what you have defined biblical foundations to be and not Christ. So you must give it to Christ and fight them out and lose the graces in your life to ensure they cannot re-enter or enter. And they now need legality too, 
you still need to have an active role in your salvation and not be careless. So obviously many individuals have defined biblical foundations, just like once saved, always saved, uh, and other things like that. So you have to give it to Christ and fight them out and just focus on the kingdom of light uh, to actually loose the graces inside of your vessel. Uh, to just, uh, you know, obviously cancel them out because now you're actually able to cancel them out and replace them. So obviously this is working smarter, not harder. Uh, but the binding and loosing aspect is just to ensure that you can obviously clear the skies uh, to make sure uh, that you get the actual... Uh, reinforcements graces virtues good spirits and good characters that you need uh some of these things are going to require you actually clearing up the skies for you to actually get the stuff that you need not all of them uh but definitely uh you need to consider that so your own way of thinking has been destroying you had you had the mind of christ you'd be perfect like him so obviously this is pretty easy uh to grasp is this a goal that individuals should actually be able to be working towards if you have the mind of christ you're going to be perfect like him as well as just in general being protect uh being protected and protecting yourselves uh from your own evil and, and your own actual wickedness as well as the devil's wickedness as your own mind is actually what has been destroying you you thought that your way of thinking was obviously uh helping you out and, and benefiting you but obviously uh, that was a flat out lie every individual on the face of this earth uh, has different chief princes inside of their lives which is in short why everyone looks a little different why everyone has a little different rebuke uh, on them uh, than, uh, than than another person it's, it's just because of their own mind uh, obviously it's just how they actually um, what they actually have attained and what they actually believe is, is truth so uh, if an, an individual who, I'm just going to say baldness, uh, some individual doesn't really care about, some individuals don't really care about baldness, but another individual could be a lot weaker just because they've already have accepted uh, the life hereditaryism uh, and that uh, you can inherit it from your parents. But obviously this is all demonic uh, and all these things in themselves are obviously all curses. So you just break these curses up uh, and every single curse up and now they actually have the grounds to actually leave. So it's already written in Isaiah uh what was it three that was in isaiah three how christ oh, not, oh yeah christ christ curses these individuals with baldness uh instead of well set hair and, and that's in short what actually ends up uh happening to individuals that's why people go bald it's not because of hereditary and other things uh like that christ is at the, at the center of it uh and christ is in control of, of that so that the and another individual who doesn't really believe in that baldness stuff, that they're like, oh, it's never going to happen to me in my hair. Uh, they have, they already attained to some kind of, uh, some other backing where they're like, I'm not those types of individuals that go bald. I'm not the type of individuals that get white hair. So this is more carnal approach, but uh, obviously you need to give this to Christ in itself just because you've already accepted this uh, and, uh, and to just deliver yourselves. Because uh, this is the same exact way that I used to think when I was like 18 years old. I was like, I'm not the types of individuals that go bald. I'm the types of individuals that get white hairs. And as soon as that stuff actually, as soon as I actually confessed that, uh, I started getting more and more white hairs. Or maybe the first thing actually happened. I started getting white hairs and then, uh, you know, I said that. But uh, there was still some discernment where I was... Uh, uh, what would be the word? When I was 18 years old, I already come to the knowledge and the awareness that I wasn't going to go bald anytime soon. Your own way of... So, yeah, the devil is using you to destroy you as darkness is 100% irrelevant to you because you are light. So attack what you, you should as this becomes a bad habit. And you don't even recognize it's a bad habit. So this one is just so easy just because... You, you just call darkness for what it actually is. You call darkness out on it, and you're just like, yeah, I'm light, and that's darkness. I don't really care about any of that. Obviously, I'm going to win, just because light always conquers darkness. Uh, and that's it. The spirit is without measure, so you're going to win either way. So that's one and the same thing, one and the same thing. Uh, how individuals just look at it, and they're just like, oh, yeah, uh... The light, obviously, you're going to conquer darkness. You have the spirit without measure, just like Christ himself uh, has received. And we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. Uh, so greater is he inside of us than he in the world. So obviously, we're going to um, 
we're going to win. We're not going to run out of this Holy Spirit anytime soon. The only thing that's going to make us run out of it is our own uh, understanding of how much spirit we actually have received. We haven't received a quarter. We haven't received half. Most of the spirit we received, uh, greater is he inside of you than he in the world. So one life and one demon can stop legions from coming uh, just because you thought you made a dent in the heavenly host. Uh, so Christ is not giving you half a spirit or a quarter. He's giving you the spirit without measure. Be confident and use the graces to be confident uh, to use the spirit without measure. Uh, so that one's just pretty easy and self-explanatory. You just have, actually have to be confident uh, in understanding and knowing that you actually have received the spirit without measure. So if you already are confident in that, uh, obviously there's not really going to be anything that's going to make you waver uh, in faith uh, concerning the actual spiritual warfare and, and binding and loosing. So be confident and loose the graces to be confident to use the spirit without measure. Uh, the main source of power is remaining hidden. You've broken every curse, but you uh, still must make the habit of fighting everything and anything. Break the curse of letting demons live on you, which was the reason that was keeping them in your life. And the only reason the chief princes were winning in your life is because they had the grounds to stay without anything stopping them. And now they have nothing, so obviously do not let your own uh, deliver sins be halted by your flawed logic. Uh, but rely on Christ's and, and lose his logic in your vessel. How many times demons were brought in and stayed in your life because of you? You are clearly destroying yourself. So use this truth to advance. Think ahead to be prepared and confident uh, and bind and lose. Uh, the only reason why, obviously, they were winning instead of your life is just because you weren't fighting them. So that was just pretty easy and self-explanatory to be able to recognize. Uh, as you already broken the curses up, well, this is essentially what actually ended up happening. These are both of the reasons why they're obviously winning instead of your life. The main one would be because um, you're not fighting, well, not because of the curses. And then the second one would be because they're hidden and you're not fighting them. So... You have to obviously make this into a habit that you have to fight everything and anything, uh, regardless of your own logic and regardless of your own way of thinking. As this in itself is what the devils are using uh, to try to convince you. It's not actually demonic. Uh, and because of that, obviously, you're not going to fight them whatsoever. So uh, this becomes a pretty easy and simple tactic to be able to see through. Uh, as the devil does his very best to ensure that he could obviously stay as hidden as possible. And pacify you as much as possible because he knows he's going. He knows he's going to lose, uh, especially after you've already broken all the legal grounds for them to actually be, uh, to stay inside of your life. And you break every single legal ground just by, uh, sending it to the cross. That's how you actually break it. You break the curse through the cross, and you break the legal grounds through the cross. And it's the same exact concept. Now none of them have any grounds to obviously stay inside of your life. Uh, there's still that aspect of actually buying products that are cursed. So obviously these curses in themselves. Uh, are going to take action. You're going to have to get rid of these things. Uh, but for the most part, uh, some of these individuals have already renounced these things themselves, so there's not really uh, anything that's going to be bothering them uh, whatsoever. Um, but uh, obviously these are just the curses that you obviously should already break just because you already renounced these sins, but the curses are still in your life. Now you just cast these devils out and cast them all out and you bind them up. Uh, you cast them into wherever you want uh, to torture and torment them uh, for periods and periods forever. You cast them into a lake of fire, you cast them into the abyss. It doesn't really matter whatsoever. So uh, please lay, uh, please understand, and that's about it. Uh, your strong men are actually iniquities that are causing you to look like them because you are practicing the sin the devil is attributed to. So discipline yourself in holiness and righteousness of the Holy Spirit and break the curses. Uh, to stop the cycle by your own logic and state of mind. But it is iniquity with no intent of getting rid of the sin and conforming yourself to Christ. Uh, just because you don't have any intent. Uh, obviously what I was implying is you don't really know that it's actually uh, a sin. And because you don't know, you don't have any intent whatsoever to obviously change. So just... This is, in short, what actually ends up happening. Now, the sins that you end up practicing are eventually what you actually get rewarded for. This is why individuals end up uh, 
looking the way that they obviously look is just because they're actually practicing these sins themselves. So they should be pretty easy uh, to grasp and to recognize that this is a control that you obviously need to uh, deliver yourself from and just to attack and to shoot first and ask questions later because uh, you're actually going to be doing yourself a lot more uh, uh, a lot more of a service and a lot more justice to yourself instead of you just waiting out and, and waiting around and like oh well, I'll get delivered when I get delivered when it's my time or when I figure out exactly what it is that's not at all the type of mentality you should have uh, in this uh, in this war uh, you should just shoot first and ask questions later. You're actually going to end up delivering yourselves. Uh, that's pretty easy to grasp. So, they and the demons under their command have obviously been controlling you. The strong men under these commands have been controlling you. So, you will get the help you need if you keep pushing forward and fighting. So, break the chief prince curses of witchcraft and cast them out and replace them. Uh, as the training wheels were on when you first got saved, but now that you have the knowledge that they are there... Uh, that there is a strongman in you and it is a curse so you have to break up the reason you are in your life and fight it out to replace them christ himself was actually giving you graces because you were ignorant about that and this is not sure why you're actually regenerating uh but now because you're not ignorant about it and you understand why some of these things were obviously inside of your life uh you have to break these curses up and now actually be able to cast them out So this, this applies to a lot of things and to probably all things that Christ gives you certain graces uh, until you're actually able to uh, recognize uh, and you come to the knowledge that obviously you could break the curses up and you could deliver yourselves uh, from these things. So uh, put it to practice and just start practicing it right now. Well, there's some sort of legality that is causing you to be bombarded with curses and you should go back to your living uh your life when you were a kid because you can so this one's just pretty easy when you were a kid you weren't suffering with any of these things whatsoever so that in itself is another uh means of actually being able to expose all the demonic activity uh, and iniquity that is inside of your heart that is just causing you to actually be uh bombarded with curses and just to be engaged in spiritual warfare in itself so this is all entirely your fault so break all these curses up and now just cast them out you bind them and throw them into to the lake of fire uh, so obviously I've already broken all these curses up, but you need to obviously recognize and to see and be able to apply it in the manner that is most efficient for you. So give it to Christ, uh, and uh, that way he could actually help you and guide you out uh, to actually be able to, um, well, these are more or less eye-openers uh, for you to actually be able to recognize and to see what types of principalities and virtue you should be leaning towards. As everybody has come to the knowledge and, and an understanding that uh, when you were a little kid, you were at your youth. Uh, you could jump off uh, the, a swing or you could jump off the, the jungle gym and nothing was going to happen to you. Obviously, you're a lot older, so you should be able to recognize it to actually see that uh, you're a lot older. The things happen. You believe the lies of the devil. Uh, and that's essentially it. And so this is going to take some faith on your end. Uh, and just remember the story with the king, how his hand withered. Uh, and then God restored it after he actually repented. So, uh, obviously, this could happen to you, but you're going to have to loose the graces inside of your vessel to be able to, because uh, you're not going to be able to do it by yourself. These graces in themselves are the only reasons why you're obviously uh, going to even be delivered, why you're even saved to begin with. It is by grace through faith. So, it's 100% undeserved, uh, and uh, you're already saved because of it. So fight them out of you now as they cannot stay, they cannot say they have gone to stay any longer because you broke it up. So obviously because they can't say that anymore, this is something that you use to your advantage uh, and you just deliver yourselves. And you have to fight each one of these things out uh, in short and in essence. Uh, just because people um, typically just break these curses up and they're like, ah, yes, I, I finally did it. But they also have to bind these uh, demons out because now they're actually able to leave. Uh, so that in short is just about it. So this is the only reason why they weren't actually leaving. This is why they were obviously resisting you. Uh, so because they were obviously resisting you because of that, um, uh, now they have no reason to resist you. You can just cast them out, punch them in the face, uh, choke them out, break their teeth in, um, and uh, humiliate them and their supposed strength.
So obviously they cannot maintain the victory because now you are letting Christ define what you should be delivered from instead of your own knowledge because you are destroying yourself. If you do not break the reason why they are in your life, the true princes will continue sending their torments. So they cannot maintain the victory because now you are letting Christ define what you should be delivered from instead of your own knowledge. Because you are destroying yourself. If not for this, you'd be delivered long ago, but you prolonged it because you believe the angels of light. Not a quick fix, but it is a start until the work is done. So from Jerusalem outward, and just to intercede for the for the people of Jerusalem, just because um, you have to. This isn't short. Intercession is strategic, uh, and you're after God's own heart. If you can't let go of any sin, it is more than likely a soul tie. If he has entered your heart, that you can no longer take the leap of faith to let the sin go and be delivered. So break the curses as Leviathan will be the reason why Christ resists you, as the devil will not tell you flat out that Christ didn't forgive you for your sins because you will never believe it. So you have common knowledge of it, but the guilt you want to sustain, even though there is no debt to pay any longer, implying no demon shall remain or stay in your life. Now, this was just so easy and so self-explanatory to just be able to recognize and, and to see that this is the, in short the actual reason why. But they already have convinced you, said it. You believe a lie of the devil, and this lie in itself is, is at face value. This is these are the lies you should be able to be applying to yourself that um to deliver yourselves because it's already under the premise. Uh, and the guys of a lie, these devils just say under that, uh, with that specific intent. So because of that, you're going to use that intent to just deliver yourself because there's a lie either way. There's like superstition in yourself, but uh, obviously you doubted the word of God. So the, leg the legality actually ended up coming in. This is all still heavily dependent on your own efforts and application. If there is any part of your life that is not regenerating, it is a curse. As now these chief princesses are working a work and you have and have placed strongholds at our headquarters to stop you completely and destroy your image to turn into theirs. All of this is still heavily dependent on your own application uh, and knowledge. I know I added that last part, but then itself. Uh, that should that should come to the awareness and, and the knowledge of what they were doing in the past and also future, uh, uh, future ailments and future problems uh, that you when you don't actually regenerate, uh, this actually a curse. So obviously, they already put strongholds inside of your life that you must break, uh, and other things like that, uh, that that have uh, that are completely halting you from being able to regenerate. As this is the whole gospel in itself, it's actually regenerate to sanctify yourselves to deliver yourselves uh, and to be made holy. Uh, as these rebukes uh, are, are strictly because of your own um, sins and iniquities. So break the curses and fight until the work is completed. And that was just pretty self-explanatory. You're going to have actually have to view these things uh, at face value just because um some of these things are obviously going to require a lot more. You're going after the queen, so all the bees themselves are obviously going to attack you and uh, ensure that they don't actually get rid of the you don't actually get rid of the queen. So uh going through this uh attacking of the chief princes uh with this way of thinking. You will get the help you need if you continue pushing and fighting. So loose the graces in your vessel to replace the chief princes and spirits of witchcraft and in general. So loose the graces to replace the curses that were brought on by your mother wearing witchcraft, promoting products, and buying them. Uh, the sins and iniquities of the fathers must be confessed, and all ancestral and generational curses must be broken, and Christ will never bring these sins up again. So if you're going through the same cycles, this is what you should be breaking and applying these principles. This is the curse that you should be breaking. And those some graces to preserve, and now they have no legality to re-enter. So tell them to get out of your life, as now you have broken every curse and ill down, also they can leave, as prior they were not able to. Uh, now you can actually say it with the confidence, like, to say it with, because now they actually have to get out of your life, because there's no grounds.
Christ has already gotten in the devil's head that he's terrified of him, but still works through the legal grounds under the pretense that it is only you. You have to ask Christ what makes the devil cry and how to make him pray for his plans against humanity and go above and beyond this and pray for more acts in your way as this is a win for the kingdom of God because Christ actually knows how to make him pray and with that comes the prayers and with the prayers comes them being answered. As he only operates through grounds, you get enticed, the temptations lead to sin and the sin leads to grounds. But the, the enticements in themselves are obviously the root cause of your actual problems. You've already broken the grounds up, whether you have acknowledged his presence or not. So you must pray until they are all gone from your vessel, and from now until the work is done. So your own family history will destroy your child and great-grandchildren. Uh, they don't have as many chief princesses, but they have curses. So loose the graces to ensure that the devil cannot do the hurtful things he planned to uh, be prepared ahead of time. To be prepared ahead of time. Uh, it is funny how pride has severe consequences for you, but when it comes to the devil, it does not apply to him. When a pompous idiot is more proud than you will ever be, because God resists you in your plans, how much more the wicked. They cannot prosper with or without legal grounds. So the legal grounds are used for your edification. The curses will bring God's judgment, but worse for them tempting you. So loose the graces because you've already broken them all up to avoid the problems of spiritual attacks in your dreams. As people enter the spiritual realms unknowingly because they are not prepared, they fall victim to the devil's traps as well as the curses to prevent you from going into the second heaven and the third especially. Uh, since you have already broken every curse, it is on you to load yourselves up with graces to combat with what the kingdom of darkness can do through counterfeit spirits and witchcraft just because they learn from the devil and the devil learn from God. Uh, so be prepared ahead of time, bind and loose, and give it to Christ to ensure you do not fail the test you cannot afford to fail, and in general. Shrink the devil's cage and stop letting the devil roam freely uh, and do things he should not be doing. Uh, you are keeping them in by not fighting or replacing. So that ensures just everything that I've been mentioning. Obviously, there's no more grounds to stay. There's no more strongholds. So now you just uh, replace them and just completely focus on the kingdom of light. Uh, this one itself is just something that is just relatively easy and simple to be able to grasp and to understand. Uh, to break the curses that are causing God's judgments that is involving children, pedophilia, child exploitation, missing children, and in general. Uh, now you're going to win because the judgments are gone and the angels fight using Christ's depths, tactics, and wisdom. It is not a quick fix, but pray until the work is done and finished. This one is just so relatively simple as individuals already have come to acknowledge uh, and just common ground, I guess, uh, how they they could put their own uh, differences aside and pride aside uh, and actually just deliver the individuals to, and intercede strategically for these individuals uh, to break all these curses though to ensure that obviously all this stuff that is focused and centered around the kids themselves uh, can end and be put to a cease. As now there's no more grounds to stay, so obviously you just lose the graces themselves to just, uh, well not the graces, but you, well, you lose the graces, but you also lose the, the warring ministry spirits to actually fight uh the the battle in in the heavenlies and to just hit them where it hurts is they already have crisis tactics wisdom and depth to just be able to outsmart their enemy so uh, this in itself is obviously a win um but you have to be praying until the work is done as these individuals will definitely uh meet you with a lot of resistance uh definitely humble yourselves down that way leviathan is not in any way shape or form being uh, the reason and the culprit why you're actually being resisted from your prayers being answered uh, and intercede in general strategically for the body of Christ to actually be able to do this work. So remember, you will never be the person who makes a dent in God's heavenly army. Uh, so keep sending more and ask or ask for more. Uh, nudge the body of Christ and intercede strategically. That way they're able to get the job done. Focus on the kingdom of God and what he can do. Um, break the Leviathan curse up and loose the graces inside their vessels and they need the gravity to re-enter or enter as well as applying this principle to the areas that you should be fighting. As the graces and the good spirits are one and the, one and the same uh, and will stop the legality from occurring, they can always recurse. So this is something to factor in as well as using the legal ground. So these intersections will have to be strategic uh, to ensure it's actually finally uh, finished and put to a cease. Uh, but the curses are already broken. You have to move and act fast and give it to Christ for general directions. So humble yourselves down. Uh, this one is just pretty self-explanatory. As Christ is the one who's actually giving you the direction uh, in your life on what you should obviously be doing. If you're not actually 
uh, if you're relying on your own knowledge and your own direction and guiding yourself, uh, trust me, you're going to end up, you you know, you got your heart in the right place, but you need to rely on Christ 100% for the direction in yourself. So just apply what I've been talking about concerning spiritual warfare to this and focus on the kingdom of God as well as losing the graces to be able to fight efficiently and in general. If you rely on your own tactics and knowledge, you'll lose. And these graces is Christ receiving all the glory across the globe and in general. And ask for a more excellent way and pray for a more excellent way as this is the whole reason, um, not the whole reason why, but uh, this is what is actually going to stop it completely just because uh, individuals... Um, you were asking for like a double portion. Uh, as some individuals just typically limit themselves by their own way of thinking. When you actually just pray for a more excellent way, obviously Christ uh, gives you a more excellent way that takes care of all the stuff that you're actually being negligent in. Uh, and you truly are praying precise and strategic prayers as well as just uh, interceding strategically for these individuals. Is uh, That way the reinforcements can obviously come. Uh, demons stay and work under the premise of deceiving you. So use it to your own advantage because they know you, they know you could obviously get delivered from everything hidden. So demons masquerading as angels of light, the obvious demons just in general. So give it to Christ and break these curses up to have your heavenly life on earth. Uh, go big or go home and lose the graces and good spirits to combat this. Do not be lazy or negligent as the Lord is your light. Uh, this was just easy. I know I spoke about the kids and all that other stuff, but you could apply this uh, in general, and to that as well, uh, but obviously still be focused around that, uh, I know these, there's a lot to actually be praying for, but you have to nudge the body of Christ to ensure everybody's obviously ticking and talking like a clock, that way none of these individuals are being uh, resisted, you've already broken the curses up, you've already casted these demons out, you bound them and, and you gagged them, uh, and, you, and you destroyed their networking, you, just, you destroyed their... Um, how they function uh, and uh, and things of that nature, and you essentially hit them where it hurts. Uh, don't listen to another individual when they t try to act like, oh, wow, well, you're actually moving in the right direction. Some of this could obviously be pride. Uh, they're trying to get you proud, so just uh, humble yourselves down uh, and just hit the enemy where it hurts, and don't stop praying until the work is done. So you're obviously going to take time out of your day. If this actually means a lot to you. Or if you to actually be binding and loosing, uh, to finally end this and put it to a cease. As these judgments themselves, uh, the devil is a conniving bastard. Uh, he does this on purpose. Uh, he puts these judgments inside of an individual and then he just, uh, shrugs his shoulder and says, oh, well, this individual was deceived and now I could work in this life when this was his all, his whole, um, uh, plan all along. So he's a lot more evil than you think. He puts these, uh, legal grounds, especially in parents, just to get to the kids' as life. So you break these, all these legal grounds up and you intercede strategically to just uh, completely put it to a cease and completely put it to an end. So pray until the work is finished and ask for help as most of them are so buried deep into the character. So just attack, shoot first and ask questions later. As well as the more obvious, the Leviathans in your life and the ones actually watching you. Now obviously what I mean by the ones actually watching you, uh, this is just the actual demons that are trying, the tempters themselves that are trying to... Um, to just ensure that they could obviously uh, tempt you into uh, falling into sin. And then, like that, God will resist you and all your work is in vain. And you're going to be scratching your head, uh, wondering why your prayers aren't getting answered and just things of that nature. And obviously, it's going to be because, it's going to be because you fell straight uh, for the enemy's trap and there's nothing else that you can do about it. So I was speaking about that in general, so... As some of them, most of them are obviously so buried deep inside with a character, and the demons stay under, stay and work under the premise of deceiving you. So you use that to your own advantage because they know, uh, you that you could get delivered from everything hidden. Demons masquerading as angels of light, the obvious ones, and just in general. So angels of light, uh, give it to Christ, break these curses up, and have your heavenly life here on earth. It is dependent on your own application and efforts. It becomes a habit to not attack what you should be attacking. The devil gives you ideas uh, to better control you. Well, everything is all dependent on your own application and efforts. 
and essentially uh, in, uh, with time it becomes a habit to not attack what you should be attacking so this in short some of the individuals should definitely be acknowledging and hearkening to just be thinking ahead and listen to the graces ahead of time that way they're not obviously going through these suffrages uh, just because they didn't prepare and just because they weren't actually prepared for the test to come inside of their lives uh, the main reason and the premise why I tell you uh, that these melting fires are going to come is because you already have a general uh, understanding uh, that melting fires are obviously going to be a lot uh, hotter than you obviously think. Uh, so, um, obviously, this in the short just humbles you down and just grounds you and is able to help you recognize and to actually be able to see that um, these melting fires are, are going to be exactly that. These fires are going to be fires and it's going to be hot. It's going to be uncomfortable and you're not going to like it. So, uh, it's, it's a little download, uh, downloaded knowledge uh, straight into your vessel. And as you already have this foreign knowledge, we to actually be able to understand uh, and to see that um, melting fires are going to obviously hurt. Uh, the devil gives you ideas to better control you. That was just obvious. Uh, I could, this is the same thing that individuals do to their parents. They lie to. Uh, this is the same thing that individuals do to their children. They lie to their children to just better to control them. Just like the boogeyman is gonna get you, uh, and just uh, this is a uh, a little. Uh, white live version of it but uh the more obvious of things to better control is that you're not able to get delivered buddy uh, and just things like that so uh, this is going to take your own application and you just figuring out uh the areas where you're more susceptible and, and your own weaknesses and then giving it to christ praying for a more excellent way uh and just keep pushing through and keep moving forward as the devil will try to hinder you by saying huh i wonder what that is or just stupid things like that but just fight anything and everything uh, and do it so much that it just becomes a habit. Uh, loose the graces you need in your vessel and bind them loose as these spirits of witchcraft will bring the unnecessary suffrages in your life. Or not just spirits in general. Uh, break the curses of the chief prince's demons staying under the premise of deceiving you. So use it to your own advantage because they know they are to get, that you, are, that you can get delivered from everything hidden. Uh, use it to your own advantage that you know they are lying to you. So obviously you're going to be delivered because they didn't believe in the lie they told you. So bind them loose and give it to Christ and break these curses up to have your heavenly life on earth. Uh, this realistically is the only other reason you are met with resistance. We have the confidence that all curses are broken by the cross. So now it is on you to fight, bind them loose until they are all gone and replaced by grace through faith alone. And good legions using Christ's depths, tactics, and wisdom. Uh, the devil can do a lot of hurtful things, but the Lord is your light. So keep doing it after you've after you've gotten the win. And as for a double portion, and apply the principle to the areas that you've conquered. So even after you've already won, uh, continue hammering the place down, uh, just to ensure that obviously this is you know is is disciplined, uh, and obviously you're ruling it with with an iron uh, fist and an iron rod. The temptations do pose a threat, but you can bind them ahead of time and make it into a habit that you break the curses, causing you to be bombarded by so many temptations. As no more curses equals no more reason to stay, so they are at a huge disadvantage and will lose if you are more persistent than them. So obviously hearken to that. If you are more persistent than them, uh, then obviously you're going to, to win. So this is also something else that they try to do. They pacify you. They distract you mostly. Uh, and that's essentially it. As no more curses equals no more reason to stay, so they're at a huge disadvantage and will lose if you're more persistent than, than them. Deliverance is deadly to the kingdom of darkness because they don't have any grounds to be in your life, which means they can't destroy you and your prayers will get answered because you are not being resistant. So every prayer, therefore, is stamped approved, and you must pray until the work is done, especially for this, but in general. You must not limit the Holy Spirit. So it is all obviously unnecessary other than the curses and the suffrages and the temptations that fall under this category, given that it is out of harmony with the truth. Listen to your mind, your heart, your soul, your will, and emotions. So uh, so because the demons were winning in your life because of the grounds they had, now that the curses are gone, you will win. I'm implying that you win every single battle you fight, and the only reason it was in your life I met with so much resistance was because of the grounds or you just weren't fighting it in general. Uh, so attack your torments. Uh, I can assure you that you are going to win because you are light and they are darkness. 
That one's just easy. You obviously going to win because you are light and no darkness. So this premise should be embedded inside your mind, your heart, your soul, your will, and your emotions. So these people definitely will take in mind. Uh, as this is the, the easiest way to be able to stop you in spiritual warfare. Uh, so because this is the simplest way to be able to stop you, obviously this is one of the things that you should be preparing for and thinking ahead of time to ensure that nothing obviously hinders you or halts you whatsoever uh, from um, uh, giving the enemy what he deserves. Obviously you're going to win because you're light and they are darkness. I can assure you that you are going to win because you are light. People do not trust Christ in forgiving them, that he will not remember it anymore. Uh, and given that, there is no more debt to be paid, which includes the demons that accompanies the suffrage. So you're not making good use of your time and opportunities means you are not in sound doctrine and belief false doctrine because you think the error uh, that causes you to make good use, uh, which means to, pre to prepare for these melting fires. Uh, it's just that this error is it's just it's false doctrine in itself. As individuals uh, have subtly accepted a false doctrine that, ah, whatever, I don't really have to be as diligent uh, as I think. This is not sound doctrine. Uh, this in itself is another doctrine in itself. It could be a variant of a cursed gospel, uh, more than likely is. And, and because of that, obviously, sound doctrine in itself is being disciplined in holiness uh, and righteousness. That's sound doctrine. Uh, and uh, the actual definition, uh, and God's actual definition of holiness and righteousness, that is sound doctrine. So uh, not relying on your own definitions, that's sound doctrine. Relying on Christ's definitions for biblical foundations, that's sound doctrine as, as, as well. So these things in themselves should just be obviously able to recognize and to see. Uh, and asking Christ for general direction uh, and spiritual warfare and just in your life, and not relying on yourself, that's sound doctrine as well. So, uh, obviously, these are things that you need to consider inside of your life. Uh, as these devils were roaming inside of your life and, and just putting you into torment just because you didn't actually uh, believe in, in sound doctrine whatsoever. So, uh, this is just pretty uh, easy to be able to recognize and to see that it is your own fault. Uh, you are actually believing uh, something untrue and something false. Sound doctrine is 100% sanctification away from the world. Sound doctrine is 100% disciplining yourselves in holiness. Sound doctrine is 100% believing that you're not exempt ever from obeying Christ. And all these things themselves are just obviously sound doctrine. These are key biblical um, foundations uh, and, and principles that every individual who is in the body of Christ uh, must believe 100%. Uh, and sound doctrine in itself to, is to always be um, applying yourselves diligently uh, and making the consistent efforts and diligent application as well as praying without ceasing. That is sound doctrine uh, as well. Obviously, it's going to take practice and a lot of efforts, um, but now that you actually have the knowledge for you to actually be able to recognize that you weren't actually in sound doctrine, this is the reason why uh, you actually believe the lies of the devil uh, and why you were going into so many torments. So, Obviously, at face value, you can see exactly what it actually is. It was 100% completely your own fault, and you don't really have anyone else to blame but yourself. Uh, Christ forgiving you means uh, that the debt has already been paid, so the, uh, the demon that, that accompanies the sin and the suffrage is just completely null and void. That is sound doctrine in itself. Sound doctrine in itself is that your heavenly life... Uh, should be down here on earth that is sound doctrine uh as well as this is just the same principle as the lord is your light you're not really accepting the lies of the devil that oh well i guess uh, i have to be here because your life is here on earth anything that is contrary to the, uh, the scriptures themselves is obviously not sound doctrine so th these things themselves are just pretty self-explanatory although i worded it different and i worded it more to actually for you to actually be able to accept this as truth and for you to actually be able to recognize that it's not really anything, it's just a normal way of living and just your regular life. Uh, obviously, you're actually able to accept and you're actually able to apply it uh, in the areas that you have to apply it to and that you need to apply it to, uh, and, ju and just in general as well. So these things themselves are just pretty easy and self-explanatory for you to actually be able to recognize uh, and to see that this is all heavily dependent on you and your own application. So sound doctrine in itself is that 
100% deliverance or 100% forgiveness is 100% deliverance. That's not doctrine. Uh, but obviously individuals believe the lies of the devil uh, or, or they don't have faith uh, and just things like that. And that's not sure what actually ends up happening to people. So pray for more faith that your faith increases, multiplies, and abounds. And as well for your love. And attack your torments. I know I spoke about this in the past before, how every uh, sin brings a demon, and every demon brings the suffrage in itself. So uh, if you've already been forgiven for every one of your sins, then obviously your deliverance should be 100% whole. This is sound doctrine as well, but individuals obviously need to be... Um, more ground in this and, and put it just to practice uh that way individuals can actually be able to recognize uh not entertaining wicked thoughts and entertaining evil thoughts uh that's sound doctrine as well put it to practice and give it to christ because you're not going to be able to do it by yourself again that's sound doctrine christ is not giving you half a spirit or quarter most but the spirit what else is sound doctrine is remaining humble. That's sound doctrine. Because uh, individuals just think that because I'm not humble or, or just things like that uh, and I'm not falling into pride, I'm not being proud. But more or less, it's still a lukewarm approach. You have to, it's either all or nothing. You have to remain humble or not at all. And this is discipline in itself. As individuals are already kind of uh, in this way of thinking where they've just been... Um, humble all of their lives they don't really see much of a of a difference in not being humble but obviously you still have to put the effort and the action and actually humbling yourself down uh christ is not giving you half a spirit a quarter or most but the spirit this is obviously the premise of having received the same spirit as christ to be viewed with a deeper understanding Obviously, your own understanding and mind is the reason why his chief princes are in your life. So, uh, you do not suffer like Bob does because you and Bob do not think the same. You and your mind and logic are destroying yourself. So, have a mind like Christ. Combat and counterattack anything and any and everything, especially to continue in binding and loosing. Uh, don't shrug anything off. Uh, and that's also sound doctrine in itself. As individuals typically... Uh, shrug things that they should not shrug off these things themselves become like snowballs rolling down a mountain and soon enough you're decrepit you're old you're you're impatient you're frustrated you're flustered and just things like that so uh, don't shrug anything off uh, and if you have doubts about whether it's demonic or not just ask Christ and, and that's sound doctrine in itself to be 100% abiding in Christ just like how it's written in John 15 all the scriptures themselves are all sound doctrine anything that is contrary to the scriptures is obviously not sound uh, as the prophets themselves in the scriptures uh, spoke about uh, their own people uh, the Jewish people in Israel how they were not disciplining themselves in holiness they were going out on the Sabbath buying products and, and getting individuals involved in sin as people should not be working uh, and in turn, these individuals were obviously uh, getting these individuals charged with the sin because of the customers uh, that they were dealing with. So, obviously, don't involve these people on the Sabbath, um, uh, and don't worry about it, and, and don't focus on it whatsoever. So, you and Bob do not suffer the same because Bob does not think like you. Your weaknesses are not Bob's weaknesses, and that's in short the real reason why. These chief princes are actually using these weaknesses to their own advantage. Uh, at face value, this is something you should be attacking as well as just praying for the graces to be able to overcome. But obviously, some of these things are just easier said than done because people uh, typically get in this way of thinking where they're not even able to acknowledge uh, some of the things that are actually demonic inside of their life and they just get in this way of thinking and they're just like oh well this is just uh, my life and it's just things of that nature and I don't really know the difference and just things like that so uh, this is just in short you should obviously be relying 100% on Jesus Christ uh, to be able to uh, get rid of your weaknesses uh, and the things that you're just more susceptible to so combat and counterattack everything and anything uh, especially to continue in binding and loosing. And this one was just pretty easy. You have to be praying to be able to combat these types of um, tempters that come inside of your life. It's just, in short, every 
the whole gospel in itself. Jesus Christ came uh, uh, to regenerate you and to and to not degenerate you. And these tempters that come inside of your life, Christ was met with the same tempters, but he didn't really fall for them. So uh, this is just pretty easy and self-explanatory to be able to see that this is what you should be uh, prioritizing and emphasizing inside of your life, that you need to be combating the tempters that come inside of your life. That way they don't actually make more than your drums. Uh, and in turn, you do, you end up destroying yourself just because you didn't take the right measurements and precautions to just be prepared and to just stop these uh, tempters from coming inside of your life. So obviously everything in this life, this world, this earth is just a battlefield. Uh, and obviously this is just, uh, you just get humbled down. This stuff happens so repeatedly and so uh so repetitively, so repeatedly that eventually it just uh, hammers you down into the into the wood, uh, and because it hammers you down to the wood, obviously you they, you finally get delivered from your illness and so This is in short the actual process and what actually ends up happening. So, uh, the more you actually put this to practice, obviously the sooner you obviously going to regenerate. So, uh, this is all the whole premise of what. Uh, the whole video has been about I've said this plenty of times in this video that all of this is all dependent on you and nobody else It's your own application and just things like that So stop defining deliverance and let Christ define it because your own mind is destroying you sound doctrine So you clearly uh, because you have the faith, but you are embracing your own error so let the devil teach you to love what God loves and hate what he hates because the devil loves what God hates and hates what God loves. Showing how good God is and just how evil the devil obviously is. So let that teach you in itself just how it's just, hidden up there. just evil the devil is. That he hates what God loves and loves what God hates. It's completely backwards and completely uh, an idiot just because... There is no other way other than what God already has ordained. But this man is so bitter uh, from his own mistakes, uh, and that's essentially it. Uh, I don't really have much else to say. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit what he has to say. He said no, spot on. Uh, but individuals are still going to have to uh, advance in the kingdom of, of, of darkness and, and be binding and loosing and, loo and using these truths themselves to obviously be able to deliver yourselves. Uh, from these things as well as just delivering yourselves uh, as you already have come to the knowledge that every ailment uh, and anything that's stopping you from your deliverance is all deceptive so you use that uh, in itself to just actually be able to deliver yourself because you recognize there's absolutely nothing so you're just like whatever I don't really care I already know it's deceiving and I'm going to use that to obviously deliver myself go big or go home uh, and that's essentially it uh Obviously, all of these things is just for the earth aspect of things, but this is all meant to actually help you and aid you uh, to actually perfect your eternal character, your fruits that you already loose inside of your vessel. As this is only the form that you pray for your time and to ensure that you're obviously able to obey Christ without exemption. Uh, that was some doctrine that individuals actually need to be able to recognize uh, and to see that um, they actually believe in false doctrine. Uh, which was in short causing all the suffrages uh, and all the ailments inside of their life. Uh, so I pray that the grace is actually loose inside your vessel for you to actually be able to do this work. Uh, and that's in short, just it. Um, I'm going to ask Christ, uh, always be focused on the kingdom of light. Always be focused on the kingdom of heaven, as this in itself, the earth is going to pass away and all the problems. Uh, although you've already received the knowledge that way you're not actually tripping about or, or overreacting about situations that you shouldn't be overreacting in. As now the light has been shed on these actual things, you have to actually be able to recognize and to actually see that these things are actually nothing in themselves. Uh, so obviously because of that... Um, Obviously, you can be confident and just focusing 100% on the kingdom of God. And you know that you're not going to miss anything. And if you do end up missing anything, you can just ask Christ. And that's essentially it. Uh, focus on perfecting your fruits uh, and, and just being obedient to Christ 100%. And that's essentially it. Love your enemies as yourself. Give it to Christ. Pray for more excellent way concerning everything that I have spoken about. 
uh, and ensure that obviously you deliver yourselves as this is what's actually going to make you be a disciple of Christ and to be a disciple of Christ more efficiently. If you're not actually able to do it uh, by yourself, that's the reason why Christ died for you, then obviously you're not going to be able to do a single thing while you actually get saved by yourself. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, grace and peace be multiplied to you again. Uh, and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ reign in your hearts and be with you all. And, and, and I pray that the grace that is still loose inside your vessel for you to actually be able to, uh, to go above and beyond this and for you to actually be able to perfect uh, your eternal character as much as possible. That way you're actually making good use of your time. Uh, you don't actually become negligent about anything that you should be negligent in. And that's essentially it. Uh, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Um, give it to Christ. Let everything go. Amen.